legal victory for Prince Diana's former private secretary. The BBC has publicly apologized to Patrick Jeffson, also paid him a substantial sum for deceiving him when pursuing the infamous 1995 interview that made global headlines. Lama Hassan is at Buckingham Palace with the story. Good morning, Lama. Yeah, and good morning to you, George. That's right. The BBC is now paying a substantial sum in damages as well as, quote, apologizing unreservedly to Patrick Jeffson. Now, he was Princess Diana's trusted right-hand man for eight years, and she was made to believe that he was being paid to spy on her, which ultimately led to her agreeing to do that explosive panorama interview. This morning, a royal reckoning more than 25 years after the bombshell BBC Panorama interview watched by 23 million people in 1995, the BBC now paying Princess Diana's former private secretary, Patrick Jeffson, a substantial sum and saying that they apologize for the harm caused to him as a result of the interview. He resigned very soon afterwards, so his career was blighted. What really haunted him was that Diana went to her death thinking that he had betrayed her. Overnight, Jeffson telling The Telegraph, the princess died thinking I had betrayed her after eight rewarding but often difficult years in which we had worked so closely to suddenly discover what had happened, that it wasn't a misunderstanding but a calculated, cold-blooded act of deception is still very hard to process. Last year, an independent investigation found that Diana was duped into giving the revealing interview in which she spoke about Prince Charles's affair with Camilla Parker Ball saying, quote, there were three of us in this marriage. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. Diana's brother, Lord Spencer, alleged Martin Bashir used forged bank statements to try and illustrate that members of Diana's inner circle, including Jeffson, were being paid to gather intel on the princess. Bashir, who conducted the interview for the BBC, released this statement after the investigation last year, saying, I apologise then and I do so again now. On Thursday, Lord Spencer reacted to news of the settlement, saying, the right result, appalling what Patrick Jeffson had to go through as a result of grotesque journalism. Now, Jeffson realizes that the money he's received in damages won't reverse the harm that's done, and that is why he is donating all the money to a children's hospice that is affiliated with Princess Diana. He says that it changes something bad into something good, which he says is a blessing. George. Okay, Mama, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.